joining the team in a new industry with a lot to learn. Cloverleaf was an awesome resource, getting a daily email to help me relearn how I need to learn in a new career, as well as speed up the process of getting to know my team, to know how to communicate with them, and learning again how I communicate with other people in stressful situations, how I want to receive encouragement and praise and feedback, really was an awesome tool to get to learn myself more in a new environment and to learn um, who I was working with and how to work best with them. I think without the daily digest, I would have been more likely to fall into imposter syndrome. I think without being reminded that I wanted to experience success in these ways and if I'm seeing these behaviors in myself, it's probably because I don't feel connected, I don't feel seen, I don't feel successful. I think without those prompts, I would have felt like I wasn't making any progress, probably would have been a lot more discouraged along the way. And then from the team aspect, it's a hybrid role. And so there's so much that you can learn about people in person, but I wasn't going into the office every day. I think that it helps expedite getting to know people uh, to make it feel like, no, I am a part of this team. And seeing the dashboards of where everyone lands on different personality assessments was really helpful to know. I think Cloverleaf is a huge help, um, but uh, also um, people making career transitions, that's an inherently stressful environment and situation to be in. Um, even if it's not like overtly stressful in the day-to-day, -day, there's just a lot going on mentally as you're not only learning a new role or a new team or new processes in a new organization, but you're also, you have new vocabulary and new schema to build up as you're doing that. And so there's a lot going on mentally and emotionally. And so having the dashboard to come back to and then having these daily emails as a reminder to just check in with yourself every morning as you're starting and, and also like taking that time to actually pause and use it as a reflection of what's been going on and how am I feeling this morning? How am I feeling about these current projects that I'm working on in relation to what I'm reading about how I behave has been wildly, wildly helpful. Thank you.